Man, this shit crazy. Oh, boy. Never eating that again. <laughs> What's up with it? Nigga. I'm big chilling just sitting here smoking, bro. They got this new fucking comic book, man. The black superhero, man. This nigga Word. called a homeless homeboy. This the shit is, homeless homeboy? The home, I, I don't know. This shit crazy, bro. I a lot of homeless homeboys. Well, they stay look, with women, but he fighting home. this nigga look like little Dirk. Oh. That's a, is that a dude? I don't know. I think I it know. is. That's though. Crazy, but that bro. nigga got dread like little dirt. Homeless homeboy. That bro, is this wild nigga right be in the hood having epic battles, man. Word. Let me see. Let me nah, see. Nah, bro, I ain't got. Let me see the other one, not the one you read. Nah, this is my new shit. I just. I, let me see. Oh man. Yeah, bro, he got a couple of people on here. Bro, he be on YouTube and everything, man. Hey, man, he got the. Oh. You don't see a lot of black superheroes, nah, bro. You don't. And everybody got a homeless homeboy. The dude homeboy. on the front, is he black? Yeah. Word. He had to make it look light-skinned so he could be accepted by everybody. <laughs> oh, okay. I yeah. got you. I look got look you. at the diabolical niggas he fighting, bro. Yeah. This nigga fighting a drug the, dealer. The, the, I, a Puerto Rican he, drug dealer, dude. He got CeeLo down here, he reckons. I don't know, CeeLo got nah, like... That's a white dude. That, no, that's in the corner in the back. Right then he on? got another nigga on here look like Young Dolph, too. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. I was talking about my man over in the corner right there, though. This is crazy, bro. The homeless homeboy. Yeah. They had 100000 on his head, bro. The Puerto Rican dude trying to take him out the Word. game. <laughs> Chico! Man, what the fuck is that? What? Oh, shit! He in this bitch, bro! Bro, this nigga that show, I told you this nigga be everywhere, bro. Bro, this nigga dressed like handyman. Yeah, I thought that nigga was the Mexican wrestler, man. This nigga got shout curtain gate. You can't tell me this nigga ain't cold, bro. <laughs> that nigga that took his home. mask off. Yeah, it shows your identity and everything. The Puerto Rican look, man, he wasn't gonna do that. <laughs> nigga, where all this goddamn smoke come from? <laughs> and he bought it with him. <laughs> He bought the smoke because he wanted the smoke. With this anybody. nigga took his mask off and put it in his in a bag. Pouch. He a real hero. Nigga wear Air Force Ones, nigga. <laughs> Laced all the way to the top. That nigga <laughs> strap. He look like he about to cut grass. This case might have to grand. jump off a building or something. Hey, yeah. That's crazy, man. Up. You know what I'm saying? Man, what's that? How can I touch your cape, man? Man, don't touch that man cape, bro. I gotta touch the oh, oh, D. Is it left? It's, no, it's rainproof, though. Hey, this don't get wet or nothing. Hell no. The, the, the homeless homeboy, as you can see here, you know what I mean? And you done messed around and showed up in the, in the well, it's the trap, but this is the black market, though. So, you know what I mean? This is where we highlight black excellence in the black market. And this right here is, you a black superhero, bro. What's up, man? Um, yeah, I'm from Columbus, Georgia, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, just like everybody else wanted to be a rapper, man. I grew up wanting to be a rapper. But as I got older, man, um, I wanted to do something more beneficial. I always wanted to do something towards the homeless. So it kind of came in my mind, like, make a comic book. My first comic book, though, was like, um, it was called No Heroes in the South. It's basically about the dude, he smoked weed, get superpowers, you know what I'm saying? So y'all gonna like that. <laughs> Goddamn, so. Um, this nigga that made a whole comic book about you, Lo. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'm flattered. <laughs> I brought a poster too, man, so, um... You see we getting our superhero shit together, too. Y'all oh, yeah. see you fucking with it. Oh, yeah, shout out for y'all, man, hanging up the poster, man. You know what I'm saying? My artist from Nigeria did the art, man. Uh, you suck, man, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. Yeah, um, like I was saying, um, started doing the comic book hustle. Did, jumped out, like, 2018. Um, just been going crazy. I used to sell CDs, so I just applied the same hustle. Like, you know, selling for $5, so I started selling these for $5. Start getting more, start getting more um, value, building value. More people start, you know, 
um, coming towards me, you know, supporting me, cash shopping me, um, checking out the cartoon. And I just kept it going, man. I started inspiring other people, like other people that's not even doing nothing close to what I'm doing. Like right. they see what I'm doing, they're like, man, if you can wear that, man, I know I can go start this shop that I, you know what I'm saying, thought was stupid, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, you gotta make it out leggings, nigga. But that's what I love about the shit is just like, bro, you on your grind, but it's like you still humble enough to go out here and be like, like the yourself. cosplay and all that yeah, shit, and you, you know yourself with it, and it ain't like no, you know what I'm saying? You ain't doing it for no cap-ass reason. Right. Like, nigga, it's authentic. Where does that come from? What is that ability to be able to be you in a world full of everybody who's trying to be like everybody else? Well, really, just being all the way confident, you know, I wasn't always a confident person. So, like, back in the day, um, when I was rapping, that was really my, my go-to. So, like, as I got older, um, you know, just really watching my friends, you know, I always, we used to always say, like, hey, we're going to do a skit, we're going to do a skit. So I just started writing stories. I turned around, I had 16 chapters to No Heroes in the South. So uh, when I put that out, uh, a guy in Venezuela, he was white, a uh, white guy in Venezuela, he bought it. You know, he looked at it, he gave me his honest opinion, man. Like, uh, I can't get with this, man. Like, it's kind of offensive, you know, the language, the N-word, blase, blase. So I had to go back to the drawing board. And that's when I came up with Homeless Homeboy. And with that, uh, like how I met you guys, you know, um, I jump out, I try to do stuff to help the community. We feed the homeless, and right now, we're trying to do uh, something more innovative, like we're putting refrigerators outside of businesses that are allow it, you know, that support us. And we're gonna keep, you know what I'm saying, that field up. We're gonna, um, you know, uh, have people that's participating, you know, keep it clean, you know, keep the area clean, whatever. So we reaching out to people, you know, in the city that's willing to help us with that. Everybody say they want to be a part of something, so. There y'all go, you know what man, I'm saying? Man, we All the way, you. man, and I ain't even realize you, you and you the homeless homeboy, so we got to be like the one-bedroom buddies or something like that, because we, <laughs> you know what I mean, the homeless homeboy, because, you know, you see he up top, so we like, you know, he sending us in first. Boy, it look like you about to hit a nigga with a mean yeah, sissy punch. Boom! And you coming from under the bottom with your stock. That's, that's, <laughs> like, that's I, an uppercut, nigga. Your that, shit, that, your that, shit the one cotton nah, to the yeah. side. Fuck you. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you hit a nigga, you're going to be like, bitch. <laughs> that's a, you ain't, they ain't even going to get to the office, old boy. We, bitch, stop. <laughs> What's up? It's Carlos Miller. Guys, are you nervous about your upcoming trip to Pound Town between Backshot Boulevard and Missionary Lane? Well, plan ahead and get some Blue Chew and make your trip enjoyable for you and that lucky lady. Blue Chew is the unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable tablet and at a fraction of the cost. Step one in the process is to visit bluechew.com. Then consult with one of their licensed medical providers and once you're approved, you will receive your prescription within days. You can take them anytime, day or night. So if you can benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use promo code BLACK at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code BLACK to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. <laughs> hey man, you got some dope visuals though, man. Tell me a little bit more about how you made this physical, in the physical world. How did you bring so, this to life like this? Basically, step by step, really, um, I got some guys in Nigeria. Uh, Yusuf, my main. They create man. your storyboards and everything? Yeah, they do all the artwork. I um, draw up the story. I mean, I write up the story, send it to them. They do all the artwork. And uh, send it back to me in digital pages. That's when I send it to my um, guy in New York. He print it up in books and ship it back to me. And I get out here and distribute it, you know what I'm saying, myself. I got a little small team that I'm trying to build. I got my man Ray, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might see him out with the book. So uh, we expanded slowly but surely, man. Um, actually, uh, shout out to Nia. She actually part of y'all cast or whatever. She's going to be playing Danix, uh, the girl right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She getting her costume together, man. So I'm gonna have a whole little super friends out here, man. Nia and Paint Pen. No. Hell yeah. Y'all already know. You tripping if you think we ain't gonna get us leggings to make some of them 85 <laughs> South suits. You crazy. <laughs> but like, with you helping the community and everything, like, do you, do you get, where do you get your, your, you know, your satisfaction? Like, what's the most satisfying part of what you do? 
when I can, um, when I don't have much to give, but the little I can give or help somebody out, it changed the whole day. Like, man, I appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you didn't have to do that. But it wasn't much to me, but it was the world of them. So, like, seeing that and just really the impact, you know, when the child see me, they like. The kids you know, light up when they see uh, me. Yeah, too. You know it's impossible for them not to. They, I they see them right at the yeah, two the two shit. Yeah, all the way. And, um, yeah, I just been getting out more. Uh, shout out to uh, Gucci Man. I made his new video, uh, Posse on Bold Crest. I just been really good. Making my, uh, you know what I'm saying? My appearance, you know, shown, you know what I'm saying? Getting out there more. I'm um, hard to miss. I'm 6'5 with a costume on, so, Hell you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> Hell yeah. Can't miss me. Um, yeah, been some strip club win that shit? Not yet. You Let's go. Hey, bro, <laughs> you Make sure we wish you. I was just about to ask you the women be getting at you with the costume on, nigga. Uh, yeah, but. Because you uh, are 6'5. I don't give a fuck who back there. <laughs> Save me, mister. <laughs> What's the name? Wheelchair you man. I got somewhere for you to stay. <laughs> Save me. Wheelchair man. I want to play. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, man. You know, women try to shoot their shot, man, but I'm married, so you know what I'm saying? That's, you know, that's that. You know what, <laughs> nigga, what I'm saying? Nigga, if the homeless homeboy can be married, you have no excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she at? You know she be dressing up, too. <laughs> all the way. <laughs> That y'all relationship is always going to be The homeless homeboy versus baby that. mama girl. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't never seen each other in jeans. It's always costume. <laughs> baby mama girl show up talking big shit. He thinks he's not getting the baby tonight. <laughs> oh, homeboy. Wait till you see this one. Yeah, this is the child support strike. <laughs> it's my new one. <laughs> <laughs> If I could just get from the grips of the white man. Right. <laughs> oh, man, man, this is beautiful, though, man, because like you said, we tapped in with you earlier. We Homeless just... homeboy, you have one wish left. What do you want to wish? I wish a motherfucker would. <laughs> That gotta be at the end of every comic book. <laughs> just bleep out the motherfucker and just put your hand like this, nigga. But like when we saw what you was doing, it was so, you know, cause what we do, we stand on being individuals proudly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this is who we are and we put it out to the world and let them see like, these are the people that we are. So we know how tough it is to do that. And for you to be, like you said, six five black man in a costume, out there not just doing it for attention, but doing it to help people. You know what I mean? That's something we had to tap in with, man, because that is beyond salutable, brother. We salute you tremendously for that. And look, man, whatever you need from the trap, 85 South Show, man, to push this to the next level. I mean, we in here, we laughing and playing, but bro, you did really got a dope product right, right. here. And you know what I'm saying? It's put, the, it's, little black it's put kids. together well. You get what I'm saying? Little black yeah. kids, they get to see comic book characters that look like them. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you Representation show up important. for real. And that's the thing, like, you know, Spider-Man and Superman and all them people are cool, but I mean, you gonna come and they gonna be able yeah. to identify because you understand where they come from and you gonna be able to, they gonna ask you questions and you gonna have real answers that's gonna resonate with them, man, and that's, it's priceless, brother. You're a special brother, man. Yeah, where can, you, can man. They, where can they order and, um, online and stuff like that? Well, I can order straight from my website, holddatdownbruh.com, B-R-U-H, uh, everything is spelled correctly. You can go to my web, I mean, my Instagram. YouTube, what's the YouTube? YouTube, homeless homeboy, I got a little, one minute um, intro, I did a little music to it and everything. I got a guy in India, he did the, um, the animation for it. Uh, animation is expensive, man. So. It's fuck, and it take a long time. Oh yeah, and it take a very long time. It took him like a month just to do that, but um, it's definitely worth it, you know what I'm saying? Part of my portfolio. Uh, oh, another big thing too, like my main whole ordeal with getting a costume, you know what I'm saying? I wanted to push my, um, my character to the next level, bring it to life, you know what I'm saying? A whole surreal experience when you see the book and you see the character. Um, I started off, I wanted to get somebody else to do it because I was out of shape or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Then I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just book it down, get my health, you know what I'm saying, health right while I'm doing this too. Then kill two birds with one stone, I lost like over 40 pounds. That's what's up, G. Congratulations. And all y'all superhero people out there, all y'all that make all them costumes and white people be walking up and down the street with, going nowhere. 
Hey man, this is somebody that's really doing something real serious. If you want to donate something, you want to give something that's going to really put something back into the community, man, this is where you need to be looking right here. Hell yeah. Keep way. doing your thing, bro, and be safe out here for real, man. And another thing, man, you know, we all need stress relievers, man. Uh, we got these free fit camps, you know what I'm saying? Like I was saying, my uh, trainer, he actually a superhero too, Fit Phantom. Y'all y'all go look him up. The Shirai, Fit you know Phantom. Fit Phantom. And um, he got the costume and everything, man. We out here doing the whole ordeal, man. So, uh, y'all. He man, said, you can't say see, name the whole crew. See, Derek oh, yeah. J, the writer, he got the one on the back where he dressed regular like he going to a hookah lounge. That's what he dressed <laughs> right regular. But then, you know what I mean, he turned into the homeless homeboy. We already hip, man. <laughs> no, hold up. Cat wanted to run the crew down. We got the Fit Phantom. Okay. So I got the Fit Phantom. Um, I got Niaz Danix, and me right now is homeless homeboy. Um, the characters in the book, you know, y'all gonna love this. So we got homeless homeboy, that's Terrence. We got black trash. He basically uh, black trash. <laughs> that's him, right? Hold on. No, it's the, it's the ball dude. It's yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, black yeah, trash. Yeah. He basically, if you, if you can uh, think of Magneto, he basically got that power, but for a uh, garbage. Trash. Right? So you ever seen? <laughs> That's the one that's in the corner. Yeah, with the, with the, the bottles and shit. Oh, nigga. So you imagine you can get into a fight with it and you say, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> a whole bunch of trash just lift up. <laughs> <laughs> <And you go. laughs> Do you still want to know deal? Nah, nigga. I ate that yesterday, bro. I'm straight. <laughs> Keep going, bro. Then you got uh, Paymaster. That's the dude with the... Y'all said he was uh, Puerto Rican. He, he just light skin, you know what I'm saying? You know. That's a hard thing in the art wor world to get the complexion right with some of us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm still trying to well. I figured his dad hey, was Spanish or something. Paymaster, basically. Paymaster. He, um... He be tricking. That, and, um... He basically, like, if you think of Kingpin, he, like, he got the whole city in his pocket, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, then you got Drunken Assassin, right here. Drunken Assassin. <laughs> That's the one that look, look like Lil like Dirt. Dirt. That's yeah. the one that look like Lil Dirt, okay. Then, you know, all his weapons got something to do with liquor and alcohol, you know what I'm saying? Poison <laughs> sword, leak out poisons, alcohol, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? This nigga here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then, you got, then you got the swindler, you know what I'm saying? The guy y'all say look like Young Dog. Um, <laughs> he basically a master of pickpocket, you know what I'm saying? I know everybody know pickpocket or whatever, so yeah. that's him. And then you got the dough sliders. They basically some young dudes trying that's to come still there. Dough sliders? <laughs> But ain't none of them fucking with the homeless homeboy. Nah. At all. Messing, they ain't messing with him, man, so, you know. Man, Shout this is so people, dope, man. Y'all yeah. yeah. support yeah. this brother right here, man. Get your kids some good stuff to read, man. <laughs> Get them off their internet, man, and put one of these in front of them, man, and, and see how much it motivate them. This is hey, dope Hey, man, right I'm fucking here. around. You know, we got a whole fucking media coming. We might have to do a ghetto Move it right quick and do, <laughs> yeah. do get the homeless homeboy. Yeah, the special man. effect. I've been taking martial arts too, so hey, I'm coming with the moves. Too. Nah, oh, man, we know, all man. the special effects gonna be done on iMovie. <laughs> that's, that's that's good too. Shit. It's gonna be so low budget, <laughs> that it's gonna be but it's gonna be a classic. It's gonna be a classic. I'm not bro. promising you the Matrix. <laughs> I can do The Last Dragon at best. Yeah, hey, that's my favorite movie. We can do it, you know what I mean? That's gonna be the hit right there. Nigga. And we beat Boy, the one bedroom buddies. J-O-N can already, he can play that nigga right there. Yeah, J-O-N definitely look like the paymaster. <laughs> Joe, you laughing, you the garbage nigga. Yeah. <laughs> black trash. That black trash, bro. Nah, Cat Man, black Cat trash. gotta be black trash. Black cat Cause black he got the trash. shorts already. The shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Trash just start flying off the shorts, nigga. <laughs> Lift his leg up. <laughs> chicken bones and shit come out. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I need got Ah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, man. This is dope, man. This is <laughs> the funniest shit ever, bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't understand, we see Cat as a goddamn the black trans, <laughs> And that's why I look at you like that in the back. Y'all ain't seen the back before we started. Oh, and Cat walked shit. up over like, what's up with you, bro? How you doing? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we're good, you straight? All right. And then Cat had a whole Domino's box in his back pocket. They smacked this nigga, black trash. Man, I don't know. It was funny, man. I actually got a pitch for uh, Cartoon Network one time. Man. Uh, well, Adult Swim. And then when I got the black trash, I think that was pretty much a wrap. They were like, uh, I think I appreciate you for calling, man, but we're gonna pass, you know what I'm saying? Man, they're gonna play. Somebody gonna love I it, though, gonna you know what I'm saying? pass on black trash, man. 
Chico, we got to do it. The budget seven thousand. That's it. That's all we got. That's all we need. That's all we got. That's all we need. Yeah. We don't need no more. Seven G's. Seven G's. Classic. She gonna look like it got shot on a Motorola razor, but it's gonna be five. Nigga, we gonna shoot some of it on the Motorola razor. They go, that's gonna be the footage we use. It's gonna be from 2001. Right. We gotta show how black trash became yeah. black trash. All the sl- we just gonna rent them little uh, Uber scooters for all the motion shots. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna put to here on one of them yeah. motherfuckers. Have Joe scooting in there. Nigga, why the fuck y'all be just circling that bitch? Had that nigga thang on foot just now. We're gonna go to the uh, pawn shop and buy all the GoPros, man. Right. $600 worth of GoPro. GoPro. Just attach them to Go shit. Take, duct tape them bitches on a wall, it's just like on a poster, just hold them hoes up. All kind of dumb ass shit. Man, listen. We're gonna go we back. showed the, the way that black trash became black trash, though. That's gonna be the problem. That's a whole nother movie. Yeah. That's a dead, yeah, like the, the, the creation. But the budget for that one ain't but 5,000. <laughs> 5,500, man. It's trash. <laughs> trash free. He's gonna be to collect some trash, man. We're we gonna dope. spend the bulk of the money on his parents. We're gonna have to pay them people. Cause yeah. They ain't gonna get it. Hey, man. <laughs> Young this man. is dope right here, man. His yeah. brother, Young Garbage. Young Garbage. <laughs> he got a motherfucking assistant called What's That Smell? Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, what's that smell? Guess what his father's name is? What? Stankin' Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Funky Felicia and Stankin' Frank. <laughs> they left that nigga down, man. That just made me think left that nigga in the trash can like Brenda. Yeah, yeah. 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 She thought it was over. Only nigga allergic to antibiotics. I did my own rendition on Captain Sa. Y'all know the S A H, Captain Saver, you know what I'm saying? For copyright um, purposes, I ain't gonna say the whole word, but I did my own. You know what I'm That's him right here. Basically, uh, he got. Look how that nigga stand it, bro. <laughs> you already Look know how he got say. He can hear. Look uh, how he stand He look like he ain't gonna say. <laughs> He can, he can sense a woman's tears from miles away, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he jumping into action. <laughs> Who is this pussy-ass nigga? That's, that's, that's Captain Sabo. Oh, yeah. uh, I thought that same. was him. I nah. was like, oh, he got, he got him, man, uh, Captain Pussy-ass nigga. No. <laughs> oh, man. Look, man, I'm not finna be in here with y'all all night. Man, man. I know, man. Hey, homeless homeboy, you know where the trap at, man. This is the black market. I'm out of here, bro. Y'all niggas is crazy, bro. Hey, I love this, man.